Bermuda here, the headlines of your weekly news recap brought to you by People's Pharmacy. The Minister of Health, Kim Wilson, said that they will revise the Bermuda Health Council Amendment Act and they will take out prison as a penalty. However, the BMDA says that more still needs to be revised. Bermuda College has a new president from Ghana and his name is Dr. David Sam. In a viral video, two minibuses have been caught driving recklessly, but police need assistance in knowing what day this actually occurred. There's something new to taste in Bermuda and it's got a lot of people driving all the way to Dr. Yard to have a bite and it's cold. Quaffle House. John C. Moore has been named as a candidate for the One Bermuda Alliance for Constituency 16. Biometrics collections for visas, work permits, or residents to Canada will be taking place in Bermuda on June 19th and the 20th. North Shore Medical is bringing in hair transplant with a team from Turkey to Bermuda. Bermuda will be increasing their flights to Halifax from Bermuda to twice a week. Cornerstone Financial Holdings Limited will acquire a controlling interest in Clarion Bank. And Bermuda's Paralympian Jessica Lewis secured a silver in the WPA Grand Prix T53 100-meter and earned a new personal best in the 400-meter. And those are your headlines. You can watch the full news stories on The Daily Hour.